delivers, the fantastic staff that is working here at the Roundhouse delivers cups of water and I always feel a little thrill like they've deemed it like we've worked hard enough. They're like, they worked pretty hard, let's give the audience some water. Like they're like, that was a pretty, that was a pretty banging number. Let's go ahead and pass out the hydration. I want to say one quick thing. Um, the last time that we were in London was the night, oh, no. the night of Brexit. Yep. It was pretty goddamn, it was pretty goddamn shocking for us. We're just Canadians, but we were still like, oh shit, you guys are fucked. And then and we were like, the next morning we were like, Let's get the hell out of here. And then we went on a, we went on this tour of the United States. And, and we were just touring around and we're just playing songs. And I'm working on my dance moves and trying to keep all my body parts from sinking. And all of a sudden, DJ got nominated and, uh, and elected uh, President of the United States. We were in DC. We were there for that. Yeah, well, we just feel like we're like, this was sort of where I was going to go with this, but we were here on the night of Brexit and we were in DC <laughs> the night that that guy got nominated and elected um, Jinx. president of the United States. Guys, I feel like there's some bad mojo with us and I don't know, I don't really know what to do. And don't, so, have, don't invite us to your country on the eve of any sort of important <laughs> decision. No. Like, don't like I just feel like there's got to be a moratorium for about another year or two where if you're having like a wedding or like a birthday party and you're thinking like should I invite Tegan and Sarah like or even just like play Tegan and Sarah I just don't think you should I don't think you should. I don't think you should I think you should I think you should play something else which brings me to the next depressing thing which is that and I just want to say I know that probably the majority of the people in this room are people who believe the same things that we believe like we believe that everybody is uh, is, is, is equal and that they're fucking awesome. And not only that, but we also, we also feel like it's not good enough to just recognize, uh, yourself anymore. You've got to recognize the other people who are in your communities. Cause like for a long time, we were all about, a lot, for a long time we've been all about, um, you know, the stuff that impacts us directly. We were like, sexism sucks and misogyny is the worst. And, Homophobia is really bad, but at some point we started to realize that uh, we needed to be we needed to be more uh, purposeful about making sure that we were standing up and working in solidarity with everybody who's getting fucked with. So, <laughs> so I just want to say because I feel like we're in a safe space here that um, that that we're that we're not just up here for for ourselves or for people who. Who identify the same way that we're uh, that we identify? We're up here for everybody, and we we hope that uh, that the next uh, I don't even know is it four years? Is it ep forever? Or is it till the asteroid hits? I don't know. But when but when we say that we're up here for you guys, we mean it for the long haul, and it's not just words. We really mean it with our actions. And I uh, and I just want to say that this next song is not a sad song at all, but it is a song. <laughs> it is a song that Tegan sent to me, and the song title before it was called, um, what it's called, the song was called uh, Ode to George Michael. And it was a song that, that I thought to myself like, yes, this is an appropriate title. It does sound like it was uh, inspired by George Michael. And I just wanna say that, um, that this year and last year really sucked and uh, that things are not always fantastic and great and positive and whatever, but this space and, and, and this opportunity to perform and to be with you guys, we will never, we will never stop feeling like that is a true privilege and we're very humbled by it. So let's sing this one for everybody who's getting uh, sort of fucked with right now. We're going to stand up for each other. We're going to feel positive and this is <laughs> 